everyone, this is Lorraine. So I did a little online shopping. Something I really shouldn't be doing, but I do it anyway. So first of all, I'm going to show you what I bought from Chanel.com. Um, when you order things from Chanel.com, they end up coming in uh, this. And I don't know if you're interested in like little baggies or not. Some people are. So I'm just showing you to show you. So it came in that. Um, I saw that Chanel had all of these new makeup brushes and since I'm so in love with my Tom Ford ones I don't know why I decided to go with a different company but I'm like wow the Tom Ford ones are I've gotten lucky with those I'm gonna buy some of the Chanel ones so I picked up these brushes from Chanel I got their eyeshadow blending brush which looks like a really really nice brush I haven't used any of these yet but I like that this one is so pointed at the top um, so it'll make like concentrated color go on really nicely. So this is the brush, um, they call it the eyeshadow blender in number 19. I got their little kabuki brush which is so cute um, and it has a little Chanel symbol on the bottom of it. I don't know what number this is offhand but I will post it on my blog. I just took pictures of all the things and I post and I took swatches of things so I got that. Um, I don't need another cheek brush, but um, if my one gets dirty, I'm like, I, I really don't like to put like dirty things on my face um, because my skin is so sensitive. So I wash my brushes quite a bit. And so when you wash like thicker brushes, they maybe take a little bit longer to dry. So I feel like it's nice to have a little backup brush. And this is the Chanel cheek brush. Um, they call it blush in number four. Um, and it feels a lot like maybe one of the MAC um, one of the MAC uh, blush brushes. So I don't know that it's necessarily going to be like the best. It's not going to be necessarily as nice as my Tom Ford brushes because I don't know if you can tell like the difference of the quality but there, I can just feel the quality is so much nicer than the Tom Ford. So if you're looking and investing brushes even though the Tom Ford ones are expensive, they are nice and they wash nice and I love them. Um, but I thought that these would be nice too because they had different shapes. That was like the thing with Chanel. They had different shapes than the Tom Ford ones. Tom Ford has a lot of nice brushes, but some of the shapes just... I need different shape brushes, if that makes any sense. So this is the cheek one. And then lastly, I wanted a powder brush. I've been using my Tom Ford cheek brush um, as my powder brush and my cheek and everything. And so I got the Chanel one. And I used to have the Chanel brushes, and since they revamped them this time around, they do feel so much nicer. Their um, powder brush before felt almost like it scratched your face, and this one is a lot softer, so it's nice. I really enjoy this, and it's number one. They just call it a powder brush. Um, and if you're interested, they do come with these um, little things. So you, if you're traveling, which is nice, you can store them in here. And then you can travel it with a lot nicer than your brushing you get all messed up and everything. So this is the only time I like when they add the velvet pouches is for brushes because travel-wise it makes sense. Um, and then I got two makeup items from Chanel's website. I got one of their, um, what do they call this? I, ooh, their Illusion de Ombre. I'm not 100% sure, but it's called Emerville. I will post what exactly they call it on the box on my my blog, but it looks like this, and it feels um, it feels like almost like foam, uh, which is pretty cool. And it's this really pretty kind of soft champagne color, and it seems to go on. If if you, it seems like the less you put on, the better. Because when I was doing swatches, I would maybe take up a little bit too much, and then it gets kind of clumpy. So it really is about taking little product and adding to it. Um, I haven't owned any of these, but I've heard really good things about it, but it's not good when it's clumpy. So I just put like a little sheer um, bit of color. I don't even think you can really see it all that well, but um, it seems to be nice and it seems to be like just a little bit at a time. I'm one of those people that likes to go all into it, so I like, you know, dig my finger in it and then put it all over, but uh, this I feel like we need to go very lightly and very softly. And it does come with a little tiny little brush, which I thought was really cute. Okay, um, so this is the little like brush that comes with the eye, the, their kind of creamy eyeshadow, and it looks like a lip brush. Uh, but I like it, I think it's really cute, and I think it's nice to have, so I guess we could try it out with that, even though I feel like with a product like that, really the way that it like was consistency wise, 
feel like it almost is better to like lightly use your finger and put it on that way. Um, and then the last thing I got from Chanel was a blush because I've been really, really loving blush. Um, I got the color In Love and it's number 55 and it's just a really pretty corally color. And it looks like that. And I will have a swatch on my blog. Um, but for me, I like just, you know, to have that real pretty flush of color and then a bronzer. Um, for me right now, like my, my foundation, I feel like it's a little bit too dark. I like my foundation to be a little bit on the light side. Because when you have light side foundation, you can kind of, um, you can make it darker with bronzer and things like that. But it's okay. And then I ordered from Sephora. And from Sephora... I got another brush because I'm so into brushes right now. Um, it's by Guerlain and it is Guerlain and Emilio Pucci came out, collaborated and made this little brush which is pretty cute. And I liked it because it comes in this nice case like this so I can stick it in my handbag and it's not going to go like all over the place and it's going to be just like in a little clean silk pouch. Um, and the quality of this, the only thing I'm worried about is because it has blue, it's blue. I don't know if like the dyes will be harsh on the skin. Um, I don't know if that makes sense or not, but sometimes like, like for me, like in order to make my skin not break out, I have to, um, I have to use detergent that is unscented and everything like that. So even like if you're, if you're, if your skin breaks out, let's just say, and you don't really know what to do. First thing I would do is probably change your laundry detergent because think about it, you're sleeping on your pillowcases at night and if it's there's something in your laundry detergent that's irritating you, you're going to feel it all, you're going to get it all over your face unless you're just sleeping on your um, your back, but maybe then your skin on your where your clothes sits is breaking out and you don't understand why it breaks out there, but not anywhere else. So just a little suggestion. So I like this, but I'm a little scared of it at the same time. And then the other couple things that I got from Sephora... This I'm really excited about. It did come with a little um, brush too, like a little side brush. But this is um, Dior's new bronzer. It's They call it the Nude Tan. And I got the color 002 Amber. And the color looks like that. So it's just a, if for me it's going to be nice because it's not like a really dark, but I can keep adding and adding and adding. Um, smells good doesn't really smell like anything, but it smells good. It doesn't smell bad. Um, and then the last couple things I got, I got Dior's, um, their new, this is called the Skin Perfecting Hydrating Concealer in the color beige. Oh, I actually have some on my hand because I just did swatches. That's the concealer. It actually, it's like really creamy and really, it seems to like go into the skin really nice. So I'm excited about this. And then the two lip glosses I got. I got one from Dior, and it's a lip polish smoothing lacquer in the shade 001. And it's a really pretty kind of coral. Is that what you call this? Like a nude coral? A nude coral. You see that? Lovely. And then I got the Buxom lip gloss. I, I'm a big lip gloss person. I know I talk more on here about um, lipsticks, but reapplying throughout the day. I don't really reapply lipstick, but I reapply lip gloss a lot because it just feels good on the lips. So um, the last one I got was the Buxom Cream, um, what do they call these? The Cream Lip Gloss, I'm just going to call it, in the color White Russian, which I wanted, but they were sold out of it before. And it is like a nice pink kind of nude color. Um, and it, I like how the buxom ones smell. The only thing is, like, I like how they feel because it feels like they're really, like, making your lips awake and really nice. Um, but the only thing with it is that, like, my husband, if he goes to kiss me, he's like, you're wearing that lip gloss because it, like, kind of tingles. Or if I have been drinking a drink and he, like, goes to drink it, he's he could actually taste or he could actually, like, feel it, like, tingling on his lips after he drank from a drink I had drank. And, um... And I hadn't put the lip gloss on, like, that recent, so it was kind of funny. It must be just really, like, oh, I don't like having that on my hand. Um, <laughs> must be, like, really just kind of strong. And then I did buy this also, which is the Dior Snow um, White Reveal Fresh Cream. And when I look on the back of it, it says, um, for maximum maximized effective, effectiveness, apply in the morning after the White Reveal Essence. Um, I actually bought this to use 
at night because I just like ran out of what I I'm kind of changing up my nighttime routine. I, I did a skincare routine video that's my morning skincare, but like I ran out of some of the products. So um, I decided I wanted to get the Dior ones because I've had like a lot of luck with their products. So I got this to use at night. I don't think that should really make that much of a difference. But um, if anything, I think it would be better because you're not putting makeup over it and whatnot. But yeah, I bought this to use at night. So we'll see how we like it. Um, and that's all for now. <laughs> It's a lot for now, but it's all for now. So if you have any questions, feel free to post them below. Um, if you would like to watch my videos on what I'm wearing, what I'm using presently, I'm doing those videos kind of series, the last one. Um, it says Shantikai Hall in front of it, but um, it's actually that video too, because I use the Shantikai products, which I'll post on my blog as well. So if any questions, post them below. Check out my blog for swatches, and I will see you very soon with another video. Goodbye.